So it's early October 2020 in Deep Cove, North Vancouver. And I threw some carrots in a bucket this year and uh, thought we'd do a video to see how much carrots you can grow in a bucket. These were planted very early in the season from little starts and when the roots were about that long I carefully put them in the bucket about two inches apart and uh, poked a hole in the soil and made sure the root wasn't broken because it you know, might split. So be very careful. I, I started them in a Ziploc bag and then put the Ziploc bag in water and just carefully eased them out and then made a hole in the, in the pot. I had put some uh, a handful of um, potash that you can buy and also a handful of, uh, not a handful, maybe a, a tablespoonful of potash, the granular potash. And then I put a, also for potash, I put uh, uh, wood ashes, about a handful of wood ashes in the bottom. Not much nitrogen. You don't want to grow too many tops. So, and this was just put on the sun deck with water on the sun deck most of the year, so they got a lot of water. But I can see some of these are, Quite large, so be interesting. It actually broke the pot. That's why I took this one. I've got quite a few other pots, but let's just see what happened. Hopefully, there's something to show you. Okay. Looks like they'll be short carrots. Now, there's a funny one. If you like interesting carrots. Possibly the root got broken when I, the tap root got broken when I planted it. it. Could have caused that, or it might have branched around a stick or something. Well, that's a good carrot. That's a good one. Another funny one. Here's an example of the, the root that got twisted when I when I put it in the pot. So that's what a twisted root does. There's one good one. These are all good carrots to eat. You just wash them and well, not too badly twisted. Getting quite a few. I can put these in some soft soil and then pull them out when I need them. I'll bury them under the, leave the tops up a little bit. But uh, some of them got a bit of kind of a worm or something eating them. But quite a surprising amount of actual carrot out of one pot. You know, they're still coming. Oh, it's like, so it's pretty important to, when you transplant them into the pots to make sure the roots are as straight as you can get them, otherwise they'll have problems. Yep. Don't want to plant them any closer together than a couple of inches, in the, especially in the beginning they'll get stunted and they won't recover and grow. So, should weigh them, but looks like about, I don't know, maybe a few pounds there at least. And that's about it. So, Growing in one pot with holes all around in the bottom so water can come in. I'll throw that pot out. There they are. I'm not going to complain too much. <laughs> I 
And here at Cold View Accommodations, we take guests when the COVID is over and get garden tours and vegetables and rowboat rides and all that good stuff. Vacation suites in North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you.